Hi everyone and welcome to another video. So I'm actually um, coming up to Dartmoor National Park today in Devon. Uh, looking forward to have a day out up there. I've just pulled the car over. I've just spotted this lovely church here on top of these rocks. Um, I've got to be able to get some lovely images here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can find somewhere to park the car up, get, have a walk up there um, and see if we can get some nice images. Really lovely day. Uh, it's a lovely high level cloud, which would be quite nice for a bit of atmosphere in the images. Um, yeah, so I'm going to park the car up and see if we can get up there. So I've climbed to the top, really beautiful church up here, as you can see. Lovely couple of trees to the side here I really like. It's pretty much got 360 panoramic views, really is a beautiful spot. Got to be a couple of images here. There are some people working on the other side, so I'll probably have to compose my images from this side. But I think I'm going to do something with these two trees. I really like those two trees. And as I said earlier, I love the wispy white clouds, the high level clouds there. Um, I think with a red filter, and when you darken down that blue sky, that would, that would look really nice. So let's see if we can find some competitions here, but what a spot. The views are absolutely incredible. You can see all of Dartmoor National Park over there. Absolutely stunning. Really is a beautiful day. So yeah, I'm so excited. I've got the whole day just to get out and explore. And what a first find. So I'm going to set my uh, tripod up somewhere, see if I can find a decent composition, but I'm just blown away. It really is absolutely stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Right, let's get some photos. So I'm going to start with Ilford FP4 today. I think it'll be perfect for these conditions. Um, I have actually got another film with me today I'm going to try later, which is Ilford SFX200, which is a near-infrared film. The uh, reason I'm trying that is I just couldn't get any Roly, Roly 400. Um, it seems to be sold out everywhere, which is a shame. But uh, I thought I'd give this one a go. It's not quite as infrared as the Roly, apparently, but I've never tried it, so I'm willing to give it a go. But anyway, I'm going to shoot the FP4 first, um, and I'm going to save the infrared for later. So I've come down to the bottom now, as you can see. I'm going to get one final image here. I think it's a nice scene here. You've got the fence off to the left, sort of leading you up towards the church there at the top with a few trees at the bottom. There were a few people on the rocks at the top there, so I'm hoping I can catch them. I think it'll make a bit of interest. It'll be very small in the image, but I think it's quite nice to sometimes have a person for scale. Um, again, lo absolutely loving these, the sky at the moment. Really am loving it. This is my perfect kind of sky for black and white. I love the uh, high clouds you get. So you, can, you get a really lovely contrast, and I love it with the red filter. So I'm going to get this image. Uh, once, uh, um, sorry, f16 at one fifteenth of a second, red filter, and a free stock graduated filter. So grab this one, and then we're off to Dartmoor National Park. I'm going to drive towards Prince Town, which is like the main village there. Get my map out and figure out where the hell I'm going because I've got no idea at the moment. But there's plenty up there to go and find. Yeah, excited. So I'm going to grab this one, and we'll have to head off to Dartmoor. So I've just pulled the car over at the side of the road. I just spotted this shed. Absolutely love it. All rusting away and deteriorating. Some lovely textures in there. So I'm going to grab a photo here. You've got all the uh, moors, dark moor in the background for the backdrop. Uh, there's a few sheep scattered around as well. So hopefully we can get one of those in there. But yeah, just a really lovely building. I think it'll come out really nicely in black and white. Settings wise, F16 at one eighth of a second. And that's a, with the red filter again. So yeah, pleased about this one.
So there's the infamous Dartmoor prison, one of the um, most brutal prisons in the country, and definitely up until about 1950s. It must be an absolutely horrific prison to be sent to. It's a very sinister looking building, actually. <laughs> it looks pretty damn grim. We make, might actually make some interesting photos, but I don't think you can get anywhere near it. But yeah, I thought I'd like, you'd like to see it anyway, but there, there you go, HMP Dartmoor. So I think I found my next composition. What a beauty. Absolutely beautiful. Got two rock formations, two stacks, and this amazing tree here growing out of the left one. I think it's going to make a really lovely image, black and white. Super good find this one. I just had a bit of a hike from where I parked my car. I was originally going to a tour about a mile that way, um, and I actually spotted a tree growing out of the rock. So I thought I'd come and check it out, and I'm glad I did, because it's absolute beauty. So I'm going to have a little set up and see um, best compositions and things but pretty much where you're looking now seems to be like a nice composition yeah really pleased with that so i'm gonna get set up um i think i've got one shot left of the fp4 so i'm gonna use that one up first yeah super pleased okay so i've set the camera up um i'm going for a tighter crop first of all with the 110 mil lens uh it's gonna be quite a tight crop with the tree and the rocks and everything uh, i've gone for a red filter and a graduated field just for the top of the sky there yeah, I'm really excited for this one. So I'm going to grab this one, um, and that'll be the end of my first bowl of FP4. I'm going to take that out, um, and I'm probably going to get some images with the wider lens, um, see how they come out. I'm also tempted to try out this new roll of film in a minute, so I'm going to grab this image here, and then we'll uh, load up the next one. Okay, so it's the first time in this one, Ilford SFX 200. Uh, 200 speed film, it is infrared, or well, near infrared. Um, I've heard a bit of mixed, mixed reviews of it really. Some people really like it and some people say it's not as good as the Rolly infrared film. But I couldn't get any of the Rolly, it seems to be sold out everywhere at the moment. So I thought I'd try this one out. Because uh, it's a 200 speed film, I'll probably rate it because it needs six stops of compensation for the filter. So I might try it at ISO 3. Um, that's going to give me six stops extra. But um, it's a bit of a gamble, really, because I've never used it before. Um, yeah, it should be fun. Put some rubbish away. <laughs> right. It is, get, it is a little bit cloudy, so I don't really know if the infrared's going to work properly. I imagine you can always shoot it without the filter anyway, as a normal black and white film. Um, I've heard it works quite nicely with a red filter as well. So, perhaps we do a bit of experimenting. So what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to try to film without the infrared filter and just shoot it as a normal black and white. So I'm going to take um, the infrared filter off, I'm going to stick on a 10 stop, and I'm going to try and get this image with a bit of movement in the sky. I thought that might make quite a nice image. So I'm going to get on and do that one. Just take this filter off. Really beautiful location. Absolutely stunning. Dartmoor is like on another level of beauty. Just, if you love your solitude and peace and quiet, come to Dartmoor. Absolutely incredible. Just wilderness everywhere, no one, no one around. Beautiful locations. Never ending photographic opportunities as well. So get to Dartmoor.
So I found this beautiful spot down here. It really is absolutely gorgeous. You've got um, some Dartmoor ponies around. You've got sheep. You've got the old barn there with the red roof, uh, lovely trees and old stone walls. I think we have to make some nice images here. Um, I think I've only got like one left of the infrared. Uh, I did shoot a lot of them as standard, but the sun has now come back out, so I'm kind of regretting that a bit. Um, but never mind, we'll just carry on. I've got another roll of FP4. So what I'll probably do is load up the Ilford FP4 and just, capture, just try and capture some of these lovely scenes here. Really, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to sit down and have a bit of lunch here, I think. Um, I don't even know where I am. I know the car's about a mile that way, I think. So yeah, yeah beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to grab a shot here. <clears throat> wow. So I think this might be my favourite location so far. It's absolutely stunning down here. I've got all these ponies and sheep just all around me. Lovely barn, lovely trees. It's all just absolutely gorgeous, you know. I can't think of anywhere else I'd rather be in the world right now. It really is absolutely stunning. So I've managed to shoot two rolls of film. I shot the Ilford FP4 earlier, and then I loaded up the Ilford F SFX200, the infrared film. But I only, I think I only managed to shoot two or three of them as infrared shots, uh, mainly because it went overcast, and um, I thought it'd be better just to shoot them as a standard black and white. But as soon as I did that, the uh, sun's come back out in full force, which is a bit disappointing, but um, it doesn't matter. You know, it's not the end of the world. I've still managed to get some shots, so be interesting to see how it um, comes out without the infrared filter as well. So I've got um, one more roll of Ilford uh, FP4 left. I'm going to get some shots of the ponies and the sheep round here. Um, I just think it really captures what Dartmoor's all about, you know, and it's, it's just really beautiful, you know, it's such a beautiful place, very quiet, no one around. Yeah, absolutely, been absolutely loving it. I'm loving these stone walls. They're absolutely gorgeous. I wanted to try and capture an image of those, but I'm just trying to find a composition at the moment. So what I'm going to do, car's about a mile up the uh, track somewhere. So I'm going to go head up to the car and see if I can perhaps get a few images on the way back, probably with some stone walls in, I'm hoping, or anything else that comes up that's interesting. But yeah, it's been a really successful day, really successful. And I'm, def so I'm definitely coming back, that's for sure. So I'm going to pack up my gear and walk up, walk up, see if we can find anything else. Oh, oh my dear, I'm absolutely exhausted. Woo, I must have walked, I don't know, five or six miles I expect. I'm absolutely knackered. I need to get a drink, uh, something to eat, and then I'm gonna head home. So I managed to shoot three rolls of film, three, uh, two Ilford FP4 and one SFX200. And I feel that was pretty successful. So I'm um, gonna get home, get them all developed and get them out up onto the internet for everyone to see. Well, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all again really soon.